Elon Musk has been talking about stop sign and stoplight recognition for quite a while now coming to our Tesla vehicles if you purchased full self-driving. And over the past few days, there's been a lot of information leaking about this. It looks like early access people are getting this ability and we've seen a bunch of release notes. So I've gathered everything that we know so far for you here in this video and we're gonna go over it. So let's start by checking out the leaked footage of this new ability in action. And thank you to my newest patron, Justin. Okay, so right off the bat, I wanna watch this footage with you. This comes from Out of Spec Motoring. If you haven't seen their YouTube channel, I will leave a link in the description. Go check them out. The video's paused right now. You can see that the car is stopped at the stoplight. If we start playing the video, it changes green, but the car doesn't go. And if you look at his foot in the bottom, he hits the accelerator and the car starts to go. So the car's driving and then this message pops up, stopping for traffic light in 300 feet, but it sees that the light is green. So again, the driver uses their foot to step on the pedal and the car keeps going. As the car's traveling down the road, again, another green light and they hit the accelerator to continue through the green light. One more green light here, again, hitting the accelerator. And then at the end of the clip, they do come up finally to a red light. You can see stopping for traffic control. It sees that the light is red the driver now does not tap the accelerator and the car comes to a complete stop at this red light all on its own. And that is the end of the clip. So fortunately, a lot of the release notes for this update have also leaked. I've taken some notes on them because there was kind of a lot in there. So let's go over some different scenarios and see how the car would react in these. Before we get started, I do wanna say a couple things. This is in early access, so only a few limited number of people are gonna have this ability, and they're technically not allowed to share. A lot of people will share things anonymously anyway. Also, this is not released yet. So everything we're talking about in this video, I would expect it to be pretty similar to what the release notes are saying here and what we see in the video, but things can change. So this may not be exactly what's shipped when it comes to all of us Tesla owners that have full self-driving. So to finish off that video, what happens when that light turns green? Uh, they cut it off for us so we don't know, but in the release notes it says the car is not gonna go. So what the car does is at every intersection that it has mapped, and has good vision on, the car is going to stop at that intersection, it's gonna to begin to slow down, whether it's a green light, no stop sign, whatever. If there's a road marker there, which is referenced a lot in the release notes, which just means a white line designating where to stop, the car is gonna to slow to a stop at that intersection. If the light's green, you obviously don't want that, so you can either hit the drive stock down one time, or you can touch the accelerator, the car will then continue through the green light. The car knows the light's green, you can see in the clip, the car sees a green light, but to be safe, it is always gonna stop for now. So a little strange, probably not what we thought this was gonna be initially, but it's a step in the right direction and I'm excited to try it out. In the release notes, Tesla over and over again refers to this as stopping at traffic lights and stop signs. So I've abbreviated this SATLAS, hopefully we can all agree to call it that. And they say it is designed to identify stop signs and traffic lights and slow Model 3 down to a stop. So like we saw in the clip, at every intersection, even a green light, the car is gonna to slow to a stop, so you really need to be paying attention. Of course, like you always should be anyway, you're driving a car, but if you're coming up to an intersection and it starts to slow down at a green light, definitely gonna confuse some people, so you'll wanna be ready to hit the accelerator or tap down on the drive shifter. The notes say this ability uses the vehicle's forward-facing camera in addition to GPS, and it works best on roads that are frequently driven by Tesla vehicles, so a little strange there. Uh, they may be relying a lot on map data. I was talking with Green the Only on Twitter, I talk about him a lot, but he's very knowledgeable, uh, and he is convinced that this is mostly map data that they're using to stop at the stop signs and stoplights, and the cameras are more of either it's training at this time, or a backup, or a confirmation. So more reliant on the GPS and the map data, and a little bit reliant on the cameras, but not as much. Although in the release notes, Tesla does say it is heavily reliant on the cameras and it works better if you have the latest maps, but as long as you have version NA 2020.12-11866, uh, you don't need anything later than that. This will work as long as you have that version or higher. So some notes from Tesla. Before using SatLAS, you must ensure the forward-facing cameras are unobstructed and calibrated. I'm not sure how you are sure they're calibrated. The car kind of does that on its own and you shouldn't really need to do anything about that. But of course, they should be unobstructed. SatLAS depends on the ability of the cameras to detect traffic lights, stop signs, and road markings. Again, road markings are just a white line at the intersection that designates where to stop. 
You must have the latest version of maps, 2020.12.11866 or newer. When we have this ability, it'll be enabled by going to controls, autopilot, and then control for traffic lights and stop signs. I find that a little interesting because they also say in the notes that this will not work unless navigate on autopilot is enabled. And so I kind of thought it would be under the navigate on autopilot settings, just like the lane changes are in there, uh, but it'll be a general autopilot setting. So how it works according to Tesla, when this is enabled and you're using autopilot or traffic aware cruise control, pretty interesting. So you can be steering the car, have traffic aware cruise control on, and this is still gonna work to stop at those intersections. They go on to say, as the car approaches a stop location, even at an intersection in which the traffic light is green, which is bolded, the car slows down, displays a red line to indicate where it will stop, and it'll stop there. If you don't want it to stop because the light is green, you simply hit the accelerator or down on the shifter. So then I had the question, of course, what if it changes to yellow quickly after you tell the car to continue? Well, the car will determine if it's a safe distance to stop, and it'll stop once the light turns yellow and then turns to red, the car will stop if it has time. Also, something I would definitely try <laughs> when I got this, what if the light's red and it says stopping for an intersection and you tell it to go anyway? It's gonna completely ignore that. It's gonna stop at the red light. And it says it is not designed to continue through red lights. And same thing with stop signs. If you're coming up to a stop sign and the car tells you, hey, we're gonna stop at the stop sign and you tell it to continue, it's just gonna ignore you. If for some reason it was a bug, it doesn't make much sense to me, but if the car was gonna stop and you really didn't want it to, you could just turn off your traffic order cruise control or autopilot. And then of course you're in control. You would hit up on the shift stock that turns everything off. You're in complete control and then you could continue if let's say it thought the light was red but it really wasn't. Uh, I don't see that happening. You know, I, I pay a lot of attention to my dash as I'm driving and it is almost never wrong. Uh, I would say it's right over 99% of the time. It has the right color light there. So this will only work when the following conditions are met. Autopilot or traffic or cruise control are on. Cameras can detect an upcoming traffic light or stop sign, meaning you need clear line of sight. Uh, and later in the notes, they talk about fog, rain, snow, hills, big bends or curves, uh, obstructing the vision of the upcoming intersection and kind of messing up this ability. So again, I mean, you're paying attention, you're still driving the car. We are not at level five full self-driving yet. So it's not a concern at this time. Uh, but as of now, you gotta pay extra attention around those bends or if it's foggy or anything like that. And then the traffic light needs to be displayed in bold. So we could see this in the video preview we got, and it looks just like when autopilot is tracking a car. If you're not familiar, the cars around you are all displayed on the center screen in the Model 3. And if the Model 3 is following a car and using that to determine speed and distance, that car will be darker. It will be bolded, the other cars around will be lighter. Same thing with these traffic lights. You could see some of them were darker, some were lighter. The dark ones are the ones the car is using to determine whether it should go or stop. Another part of the notes says map data doesn't include all traffic lights and stop signs. Satlas heavily depends on the cameras. Some other situations, uh, what the car's gonna do, of course at all intersections, if it sees that road marking or a traffic light or stop sign, it's gonna stop unless you tell it to continue. If you have a flashing yellow or a flashing green, same thing, it's going to stop there unless you tell it to continue. A flashing red, it will stop there, and it sounds like it treats it as a stop sign, uh, but it was a little vague and I wasn't sure exactly how it was gonna do it. So some limitations of this new ability that are noted in the system, it cannot handle railroad crossings, keep out zones, toll booths, crosswalks, yield signs, or temporary traffic lights and stop signs like in a construction site, and random, you know, U-turn, bicycle signs, bicycle lanes, different things like that. So this ability is basically just bringing intersection stopping. That's what it's doing. Even if it sees a T intersection, say that uh, your road is ending, so you're driving on this road and it, it's a dead end here, with no stop sign or anything like that, as long as your car can detect this T intersection and see that the road is ending, it'll stop there for you. And then Tesla says conditions where sat last most likely will not work. Poor visibility, heavy rain, snow, fog, etc. Bright sunlight. Uh, so some people have even had trouble with this in just normal autopilot. When you're driving, if you drive directly into the sun and it's at a certain angle, autopilot will just completely shut off. I've seen this uh, a couple times. It almost never happens to me. It most likely won't work if the camera is obstructed, which makes perfect sense. Although it will be fun to test this to see if the map data really is dominating those cameras. Uh, just cover up those cameras, and of course I'll be driving the car, uh, but come up to a stop sign and see, hmm, is it going to stop? And if it stops anyway, then uh, we know it's really heavily depending on the GPS since I've blocked the cameras. Most likely won't work driving on a hill or on a road that has sharp curves. 
most likely won't work if the traffic light or stop sign is obstructed by a tree or large vehicle. And then the last condition is most likely won't work if being driven close to a vehicle in front of it, which blocks the stop sign or traffic light, uh, which I don't see that. Autopilot doesn't drive very close to cars. And this may be better in the Model Y. These notes do reference the Model 3 and the Model Y. And since the Model Y is a little higher, it may have a better vantage point and be able to see everything better. Another ability that this will not bring to our cars at this time is turning at intersections. So this was one of my first questions when I saw that this was coming. Uh, now is our car turning at intersections? Because that is huge. If you want to go from home to work with no interventions, meaning your car does everything, you're just sitting there paying attention, obviously the car has to be able to make turns. Um, and at this time, with this update, again, more is coming, but with this release, that's not the case you will not be going to work with zero interventions. So if you come up to an intersection and you need to turn, the car will stop at that intersection. And then at that point, you simply have to take over. It'll turn off your autopilot or traffic aware cruise control. And then you're driving and you can just simply double tap the stock and turn it back on. After learning about this release and these abilities, uh, it's a lot different, honestly, than what I thought was coming. It does kind of make sense because it's the first iteration and who knows, maybe this is just for early access people and when it rolls out to everyone, it will actually stop at red lights and then go when they turn green or maybe it won't slow down at all the intersections. Uh, but I honestly don't see that happening. When Smart Summon was first seen in early access, it was way worse than it was at the actual release. So it started out, I think, with a max speed of two miles per hour. Uh, it was really bad. Everybody said it was just terrible. Uh, but over time, it increased the max speed to five miles per hour, got a lot smarter, a lot better about the way it drove around. So it is possible that when this comes out to everybody, it's gonna be better and do more things. But again, I would expect it to be kind of similar to what we're seeing here in these release notes. Now, one more consequence of Tesla releasing this brings up a big question about money. So Tesla can't use all the money that they collect for full self-driving because they haven't delivered all the features yet. They kind of keep it on the side. And then when they release the features, they can take that money. An example of this is when Smart Summon was released. That was one of the full self-driving package promises. And so they were able to take some money and it was a really profitable quarter for them because they had a big chunk of money waiting for them. Now, will this release satisfy that requirement for the rest of full self-driving and allow Tesla to take all their money out of the bank? Uh, I kind of think that's the case. I really think on a technicality, this is going to satisfy all of the full self-driving promises and Tesla is going to be able to take all that money set aside and count it as revenue in that quarter. And I was really thinking they were gunning for quarter one, but seeing as it's March 27th, and it's just going out to early access people in the past couple of days. It seems unlikely it'll come out this quarter, but you never know. Tesla kind of blasts features, you know, at the last second with no one knowing. So it's possible it comes out. Then quarter one is really profitable for them, which would be a huge surprise as quarter one for everybody, but automakers especially, is usually not very good. They don't sell a lot of cars. They don't make a lot of money. So I am really excited to get this update on my car. Uh, I wouldn't expect it for a few months, to be honest. Uh, Smart Summon was in early access. I want to say it was like nine months. Maybe it was even closer to a year before Smart Summon went from early access to full release. Uh, but I feel like this won't take that long. Um, so my guess on when this is released is anywhere from the next five days to the next five months, honestly. It could be anywhere in that time frame, and I wouldn't really be surprised. Let me know what you think. Are you disappointed by this? Do you have any questions? Leave all that down in the comments. We can have a discussion down there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit like, get subscribed, and you will see me in the next video.